Alright, ready? No. <laughs> yeah, always ready. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio. It's Joe here. Uh, I've got a deck list by one of my friends who came to YTS with us. Uh, his name's Reese. How you doing, guys? Uh, what were you playing, Reese? I was playing Going Second Spiral. Going Second Spiral. How do you think it did against the meta? Um, it didn't do too badly against the meta. Like there was differences and changes that I could put in to make it better. Like there was a lot less Thunder Dragons and a lot more. Uh, striker than we were expecting that was a big hit yeah i think most of us were fully expecting to go and see a lot more thunder dragon than we did uh me personally i played two rounds of thunder dragons yeah. how many did you hit uh, i had two as well yeah two as well okay so that's not too bad uh how did you do um i won both my thunder dragon matchups there was the other matchups that i wasn't expecting that i found harder yep uh, I think we all dropped like fairly early. It was quite a tiring day. Like, I think how many rounds did you do? Was it six? Yeah, I dropped X2 after round six. Yeah. Everyone was tired and wanted to eat. Yeah, everyone was tired and wanted to go. It's a long day. Yeah. Right, anyway, sure. Uh, sorry about the setup here, guys. It's a little bit wobbly, but we'll uh, we'll do the best we can. Uh, so, you want to show us your deck and give us a talk through it? Three super agents. Obviously, this card's broken. Pretty standard. Open this and drones. You win, you either OTK or you make Trigate. Yeah. You should do. Triple tough, mm -hmm. because it's not hard once per turn. You loop tough, you pop, you pop, you pop, you break boards, and then you've got no reason why you can't win that turn. Sure. Triple ash, because everyone's searching the like, Broken. Hits everything. It's best card. Gamma package, negate, destroy, get two monsters on board. Easy. Do you make anything with it? Like, do you ever go into the synchro? Or? Uh, I don't even main gamma. I'd make this and hopefully they're going to ash my field spell or if they're really bad the terraform and if they're really good they hit the one for one i'll negate the ash make the gamma then i can otk with Boral sword yeah pretty good and uh how do you feel about this versus the fact that you know we've got uh called by the grave a two and things like that i think maybe like these kind of hand traps are better right um, like for this format broken because it doesn't go to the grave it's coming straight to the field exactly like the worst thing they can do is ash the gamma so you don't special the driver but then you've got the gamma in hand for the next play they want to make mm -hmm. same turn next play just gamma that yeah okay fair enough uh let's go see what else you got is that all your monsters or uh, no more monsters more monsters uh, okay cool drones self oh of course yeah drone agent win how can i forget quick fix pretty lit he's the boy he's the boy yeah uh, master plan broken sleeper you know what this card is. is. This card is this good. Card is so good. So good. Sleeper, last resort. It's so That's hard it. to That's it. That's the combo. Fair play. Ibli. Ibli. Okay. How do you find Ibli, this format, just in general? You open the Ibli, and it sucks. You don't open the Ibli, and you resolve your nightmare combos, then she's broken. Yeah. Like, you make drones, you make double mermaid, Akashic, bounce the Ibli, normal summon the Ibli, get back. Cerberus or Phoenix, whatever you made, make Boral Sword. Drone, Ibli, it lets you make drones be a one card Boral Sword. Okay, cool. Alright. What else we got? Alright, that's it for monsters. Spells. Double terraforming. Yep, yeah, only a two. two. <laughs> two. You play two. Yeah, that's it. Double big red. Yep. Yeah. This card's sick. Use it in the combo if you're making Trigate. And then if you open it or you get a way to get to it later on in the game, then you can just extend later on rather than blowing out on your first turn. Do you think two is the right amount for the format? Two is. Three is a brick, <coughs> but I was testing with one and it wasn't enough. Yeah. Resort. Mm -hmm. This card is lit. Only at one. So. It's only at one, but it's good because when you're playing against Striker, when you've got Resort on the board, then they're trying to resolve Widow Anchor or anything else. They can't target any of your Spiral Monsters. So it's lit. It's uh, and, and how do you, like, you recycle this, right, with Unicorn? Yeah, so if you open this, you'll activate it, search off of it, you'll make Unicorn, you'll shuffle it back, and then later on, you'll tribute or you'll link summon using your Master Plan, and then Master Plan will search this and the monster. Okay, cool. Which All right. is cool. Um, assault at one. Because this just gets you an additional normal summon, basically, mm -hmm. which is good. Is, it, is this the one with the banish effect as well? Or? Uh, yeah, so this is in your grave. You banish it to special summon a spiral monster from your hand. Oh, okay. And also, cool. if you open it later on, then you activate it. If you pop a card with a spiral uh, monster, then you get to draw one. And drawing is always good. Yeah, of course. Uh, this card came in clutch all weekend. It's Triple Chalice. Triple Chalice. This okay. It was really good in the Thunder Dragon matchup because you chalice it and then go off and then you can pop it and they can't stop it from dying by banishing from the grave because it's negated yeah of course and like i mean i know personally from playtesting with you this card is so so difficult to deal with 
like so difficult. Everything you just try to make a play, they drop the chalice. That's it. You 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 can't do anything. You get stuck with nothing. You just get killed. Yeah, no one's expecting it. And also, if I've got any monster on the board, uh, Sparrow monster that's got the last resort equipped, mm -hmm. if I chalice it, then I can use resorts effect, send something, then I can attack directly and give that extra 400 uh, damage that he gains from the chalice. Yeah, so yeah. If we're going into time or we're close to time, then a direct attack with an extra 400 could like make or break a game. Yeah, of course. Double goods. Double goods? Okay, yeah. what do you normally send off that? Uh, you'll either send the rescue or the assault. Normally okay. the rescue, but it depends what position you're in. Yeah, of course. Uh, one for one. Sure. Card's broken. This will win you the game. Yeah. If they don't ash the one for one, then they're bad. Especially when it's you and you open it every game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> I don't know. Either open one for one or open Ibley. It's that kind of life. Yeah. Uh, foolish. Dual terminal. DT foolish. Best rarity. Yeah, nice rarity. Uh, normally, I just use this to send the quick fix if I've got a super agent on board and I've ripped. Mm -hmm. Then hopefully if I've got a rescue in hand, then I can use quick fix effect engrave target super agent special summon itself mm -hmm. discard the rescue then chain the rescue to special summon the quick fix off the rescue so the quick fix isn't going to get banished when it leaves the field yep rotor only at one monster reborn the best version of the reborn is i got that nice last start there that's it when i bought it off louis and he saw me open it he was like crying he was like, why are you opening it <laughs> nah man if you can if you can keep it you don't want to get get rid of it why not best rarity should have had it from the start Drones. Drones. This, Only at one. This card is Brawl Sword. One yeah. card Brawl Sword. It's absolutely lit. Triple Rescue. Mm -hmm. uh, this card just recycle from the grave over and over. It's so good. It's so good. And then even if you've got one in hand, you've got more in grave than you want to, set it in their turn, flip it up, add Spiral Monsters from the hand. You just It's extension because the one problem with this deck is you'll make a big, big turn one play, blow out all your resources, and then from mid to late game, you're just either grinding or you just lose. I guess that's the issue with all the hits that they got. I mean, they, they needed to get them because they were just too consistent. And uh, it was pretty nutty before. Like, I mean, we had that tier zero format. Yeah, so. like triple quick fix, triple drone, triple master plan, triple field spell. It was all just, it was just broken. Like, yeah. you could do so much and you could just combo off forever. You didn't even need to play tough in the deck. You just win. Mm. And then uh, last for main deck is triple evenly. This card, just, it's incredible. Like they make a board, battle phase, drop it, GG board. And even then, if you've made a, like a subpar board and then in their turn they're going off, they get rid of your board, then they attack you and they don't kill you. End of battle phase, just drop it from hand because you've got no cards left. And that's then, it. That's it, and then hope that's on your it. next turn you've got <laughs> enough resources available to just go in. Do you think it'll ever get hit? I mean, it might do, but it's not a huge problem. Like, I feel like it's one of them cards that, like, it's just really, for most decks, I guess it's just a side option, not really a main deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess going second, you want that that ability to just clear out your opponent, and then the next time you just kill them because they've got no resources. Yeah, right? that's it. Like, okay, cool. What else you got for us? Uh, extra deck. Let's, show, let's see that token there that you got uh, hiding on the top. It. This is us. This is the boys. This is the boys. This Risa is it. Rufio. That's it. Get you someone who can do both. That's it. We tried to do some uh, some nuts faces. Let's get, you know what, let's see this close <laughs> up, right? We tried to do this crackhead, wide eye thing, and then uh, I ended up giggling right before this shot, and uh, hence I just look like I'm kind of semi-smiling. Believe it or not, that's what I look like when I smile, so. <laughs> just some ugly guy. And then Reese looking the crazy eyes. You have to get one of these, every one of these uh, YCS. We're gonna, gonna get a whole collection together. It's gonna be lit. Right, anyway. Let's talk in crap. Let's go. Uh, Decode. Yep. Got that nice ulti rarity. Nice. Yeah, this is this is good. Like you got your bread and butter spiral row TK. Like with decode, sleeper, and super agent, which is exactly eight thousand damage. Yep. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. And if you have to for any reason just tribute off this super agent to negate. Keep it alive. Boral sword dragon. Boral sword. This card is insane. Like this 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 card is broken. One card win condition, right? Yeah, that's it. Like you, you can need be in one. a bad situation. You Absolutely. make Boral Sword, and you, you win basically. Such a good way. Like I've seen this in so many sort of weird rogue builds, and like if you can spam and you can link climb just to get to a four, that thing is is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I picked one up myself. I've been waiting on it, but uh, I can't wait anymore. Prices are going down. YCS is over. Now we get the big boy cards going. That's it. That's right. Insane. Let's see what else you got. Come on, let's go. Sure. 
So a stat descent mainly to do with Thunder Dragons because it's a long targeted send, so I don't have to worry about them banishing cards from the grave to uh, stay alive. Sure. Kagari for drones, so I can again use drones to make that one card ball sword, add the drones back off Kagari and go in. Yep. Akashic, uh, you need Akashic for the drones combo because mm -hmm. you'll make double mermaid, make, and then they'll have the Ibli on their side, you make Akashic. Bounce the Ibli back to your hand, normal summon it, special back either Cerberus or the Phoenix to point mm -hmm. to the Ibli and then it's Brawl Sword. Yep. Uh, two double helix. Yep. But you have to, you're playing Spiral. This is your boy. How do you feel about having two rather than three? Do you so think that's right? One is not enough mm -hmm. and you're never going to need three. Like okay. Two is the number. This is the one card in the deck where the number is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Like all the other stuff you can fiddle about, but two uh, double helix is perfect. Double Mermaid, again you need for the uh, drones combo to make Brawl Sword, uh, Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn. Got the package. Yeah, uh, and no Griffin? No Griffin. I've never had to resolve Griffin, I've never made Griffin. Griffin doesn't really come up. I guess you, you're kind of limited, like, you, you want to make a big board, I suppose, it's not really breakable. It's kind of a win more card, I personally feel. Yeah. I don't know if you feel the same way about no, it. I do but, feel the same way. Like, yeah. I'm not going to waste resources going into Griffin when I've got probably enough resources at that point to go to Borosword and kill them. Yeah, Borosword's probably the better option. If you can make it, you can win, I guess. Right. Makes sense. Unicorn's only many there to send back the field spell. Okay. And if I really have to, then something send something from their board. And with that in mind, how do you feel about uh, terraforming at two with just one field spell? Do you think that's still correct? Or? It's, I mean, it's the ban list, right? Yeah. I guess you, I suppose you need to see it like you want to see your field card, but... Like Three would be too much, I yeah, think, yeah. anyway, but two's, I guess, I guess makes sense. Two's good. Like, at night, I'm laying in bed thinking about Pseudospace. Should I play Pseudospace? <laughs> should I not? Like, there's never a right or wrong. I don't know. Pseudospace is good, but you don't need it, except for when you do. And I guess, isn't Pseudospace, doesn't it banish as well? Yeah, it does so banish I guess from once the grave, it's gone, but it's once gone. your, uh, your um, field spell's in the grave, it's pretty dead anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that's Nightmare Package. Uh, you can't play any Spiral Deck list. Uh, Trigate Wizard. Yep. Like, this card's insane. It's the boy. It is the boy. Uh, Link Karibo. Yep. Like, make Link Karibo out of Quick Fix or Drones. Mm -hmm. and then you've got Link Karibo. Link Karibo is Link Karibo. And then Secure Garden. Okay, so I've not seen anyone playing this. So what, So why are you playing this? What's the, uh, um, what's so the thought behind this? Link Karibo links into Secure Gardener. Yep. Let's say you're in a position where you've got like Mermaid, for example. Mm -hmm. You've got Trigate here. Yep. You've got, you've big redded back, for example, double helix to be here. And this, you've got a space here. So you can, uh, let's say you special summon your quick fix somehow, because you've got the double helix, so that's a viable option. You've got quick fix. You link quick fix into double he uh, into Link Karibo. Mm -hmm. So you, Trigate's pointing to Link Karibo, then Link Karibo links into Secure Gardener, which is then pointing to the Trigate, so your Trigate all of a sudden becomes live. Yep. So that was the theory behind it. Okay, and, and did it come up or did yeah, you use it? it came up once and it shut them down. Did what it needed to do, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. And uh, for side? Side. The side was the hardest part about building this whole deck for London. Sure. So, like, everyone was. A lot of people were talking about Matai on the Time Lord, but I don't know. I didn't play it. It can be outed by Thunder Dragons, by Titan specifically. Um, so, side deck, double Ogre. Two instead of three? Two instead of three. It was just there in case I got a true Draco matchup or just to hit the diagram of like Heritage when they're trying to draw. Yep. One creature swap. Okay, this and was, what was the thought behind this? This was the thought was it was the night before we were pre regin and I was trying to come up with some spicy text and I was like, <laughs> hold on, I'll normal summon an Ash Blossom and then I'll creature swap and do something. It, it never came up. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> Uh, These good old, like, night before yeah, texts, they never work out, exactly. but who cares, you've got to try them, right? Uh, again, triple mind control. Okay. With double econ. Okay, how did you feel about these? <laughs> these never came up, which I was upset about, because, so my thought process was, I mind control, like, they, let's say they got Colossus Titan, mm -hmm. I mind control the Colossus, then I econ, tribute the Colossus, and then steal the Titan, and then because I've econ the Titan, I can attack. 
but we're assuming our, our opponent's an idiot and just doesn't interrupt <laughs> it in any way, right? Yeah, that's it, man. If I've got no interruptions, then mind control econ would be broken. So someone who doesn't know how to play the game with just too inexpensive a deck. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's it. To be fair, that probably is half the player base, Mate. so no comment. Maybe it works at locals, I don't know. Maybe not YCS, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I 1600 man YCS. There was so table 500 up. Thunder Dragons, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Book of Eclipse. Yeah. This is the Spice Man. Everyone was hyping about this. Yeah, yeah, Like, I used it. It only came up the once for me, but I couldn't kill him. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. How did you find it? Did you I get mean, to use it? Or? I had never used it. Every, the only time I sighted it in, I never saw it. So I can't comment. Yeah. But I okay. don't know what they're doing. They'll just ash it anyway. Do you think you would try it, like, going forward? Or do you think you yeah, yeah, yeah. it? It's definitely... As long as Thunder Dragons is a thing, then it's a good side choice but there's so many boards just make extra links with all link monsters which you can't eclipse mm -hmm. because you can't flip them so it's just there in case I guess just fun of dragons uh, one Mageki okay I don't see this getting so much play anymore no in this format Mageki's not great like, if I'm against strikers and they'll just tribute off the ray, or if I hit their monster, they'll special summon back the ray and do some other stuff. Against thunder dragons, they'll just banish from their grave. It's good against like rogue builds or builds that are just not really like if you, if you end up in a break my board situation, they haven't really done a very good job of it. I guess you can clear it up relatively easy. Yeah, but yeah, this format Regeki's not great. Like past formats, Regeki Dark Hole was just insane. You open one of them and you're gonna win. But this format Regeki's not good. Uh, double cool by the grave because I'm scared of hand traps. Yep. And uh, did it come up? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's playing the hand traps to go to the grave, man. No. Ash is like it, I guess. The only time when I was getting reincarnation rolled, I didn't see it. So. Yeah, oh, standard. And then upstart. Upstart goblin. Okay. It just fills up a space. There's no reason just, for that. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just felt like it needed to go in. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so, how did you think? What did you think about YCS just as a whole? Mate. Like, how did you think it went? It was good, like the energy was fantastic. Like, okay. We had like, it was the biggest YCS we've had in this country so far. Yep. Which and uh, you looking forward to the next one? Mate, next one's going to be sick. We're all going to be on the grind. We're going to go in. Next year is, we're just going to smash it. Going to smash it. Okay, cool. Uh, any shout outs, anything you would change, anything like that? Um, yeah, shout outs. Big shout out to Manuscrew, Mark Horn running our locals. Like, we get so many times a week to just go in, test, we win packs, we get OTS. Like, this without. Uh, Manus Group in our locals, then none of us would have the chance that we do. Yeah, like, we're in there like three times a week testing. It's just a good space. Everyone's happy. Like, and we normally play at War, war Games, right? Yeah, yeah. Hooks war us games up there up and Milton Keynes. Hooks us up at Northampton as well, I guess. And we got cousins in Bedford, which is always cool to to go there every now and again. Yeah, that's it. Um, any changes? Yes, but I don't know what they are yet. Don't know yet. Not Still yet. testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Still it. That's thinking. why we test, man. Uh, I, I think before the event you were talking about using uh, maybe a small Sky Striker package. I was, yeah. So the week before, I was testing three engaged two widow anchor one eagle booster in the deck. And how did how did that go? I mean, you took it out, so I guess it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't the right choice. Everyone was telling me, Reese, you need to play it. Like this is the decision you need to make, but I didn't think it was. And you dropped it, and uh, do you think it worked out for the best dropping it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we trust our judgment on that one. That's it. Okay, cool. Any uh, any last shout outs? Any last uh, words? Yeah, shout out to uh, Jamie or Jamie the Kid Zero Zero from YouTube. Or Jimmy the Kid. Jimmy the Kid. Jimmy the Kid. Zero zero. Don't forget the zeros. And uh, speaking of you YouTubers, tell us about when you uh, saw Team Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so we sat down with Jamie. Team Sam comes over, and I was fine. Apparently, all the everyone who was looking at me said I went full spaghetti. Like you did jelly man. legs being sick. Sam, Sam comes over. He's going spaghetti <laughs> over Jimmy the Kid. <laughs> Jimmy the Kid zero zero. You can't and, then, and, zero. and then Reese is spaghettiing over Team Sam. We were all talking to him. I mean, he, and then and then Reese realised that he wasn't so tall, so that made him feel better yeah, about yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was a good guy. You know, yeah. you know what? He, he gets a lot of grief sometimes. He yeah. seemed like a cool guy. He seemed yeah, like a good guy, and he did pretty well. To be fair, he's Mate, a good player. Top thirty two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He did, can't he, complain, he, man. He did well. Okay, any other shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout out to Aaron Hemman, obviously. He's always pushing me to be my best, like, testing. All of us, man. Bullying. And he gives us all grief. All <laughs> grief. <laughs> Tells we're idiots every time. Why are you playing that? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy, though. Yeah, man. And uh, obviously, shout out to Swan and JY, because the boys. Swan hooking us up with all the cards. Grandpa Swan. Swan. Grandpa Swan. Fingers in every pie. That guy's every everywhere. Yeah, man. Loving them bench heroes, man. That's it. Who else? Anyone else? Who Any else other boys? Luke and James, obviously. Yeah. Because they drive us around. Yeah. Cars is a resource. Right, cool. That's it. 
I think we'll wrap it up with that, all right? Cool. Cool. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, do this video with me. Uh, I tried to get a few more, and uh, this guy's the only one who pulled through for me. So big shout out to Reese taking the time. Thank you for doing everything on my Mac, giving me that free promotion. Good guy, good guy. Thank you very much. Cheers, Mark, for all the hookups and uh, everything else. Anyway, that's everything, guys. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all of those things. And uh, hopefully we'll bring you some more deck lists not too, not too long away in, uh, from some big tournaments as well. Thank you. Bye.